Oh yeah, folks, no friends here. Right, it's gonna be a quick and simple video. I and don't be dumb, sorry. And um, it's gonna be a quick and simple video. As I was saying, basically, I want to talk about first aid bags. Yeah, you've all seen my first aid kit. I'm not gonna go for the kit because at the end of the day, you've seen it twice. But this is my new first aid bag. Yeah, it's the one I've kind of changed. It's a leg Howard holster. There's the main first aid kit. There's the scissors. Sorry about that, guys. Just got a message. And there's the trauma. Trauma key. Right beside it. Yeah, I'm not going to go for it. And you've all seen it. But how how easy can you get to your first aid kit? That it now goes on my belt and hangs around my and hangs off my belt and belt. So that's my first aid kit now. But I I've, I've been said. How easy can you get to your first aid kit? I know some people have first aid kits this small. There's nothing in these. Well, you know that goes. There's nothing in them. Yeah, I know some of you like the first aid kits this small. This one here. You can put on the belt. Yeah? You've got even smaller ones, like these ones. Yeah? How many people carry a small one like that? And how easy is it for you to grab? Yeah, you got the you got the old big style ones. The this is the Life Systems first aid kit bag. Yeah, I've had this one for years, and I liked it to start off with, but I just found it I couldn't get to my, my first aid kit quick enough. It's the same as the other one. You just I'm going to put a link up in the description. I think it's going to be in this corner. I'm not as sure. Okay, if it's not in this corner, it'll be in that corner. Yeah, and my my old first aid pouch with my contents in it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying to you though, it's just, there's so many different types, there's that one, there's this type, which is a box, with a bit of mesh there, some loops, and some of these compartments, yeah, this, this one here is a good first aid bag, but the problem was, I can get it out of it quick enough, if that makes any sense to you. It's the same as the other one. Yeah, I liked it, but to me it was too big. Yeah, when I put it on here, it was still too big. Yeah, like in this first aid kit, this one here, there's another first aid bag. That's this first aid bag. Yeah, it's just so much. How quick and easy can you get to your first aid kit? If, it, if you're in trouble, how quick and easy can you get to your first aid kit? If you're on your own, no one else around you, yeah, can you get to your first aid kit? Or do you have to go into your bag to get your first aid kit out? That's what I found. I had to go into my bag to get my first aid stuff out. That's the reason why I put it now on a leg on it. Yeah, if I cut myself or dopey dog hurts myself, I can get to it now. I even transferred dopey dog stuff into my first aid kit again. So we have one between us both. So that's my question. Can you get to your first aid kit? If it's a life threatening injury, can you get to your first aid kit if you're on your own? Yeah. I know that sounds crazy. I know that sounds mad. It's just a question I like to ask people. That's all. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because at the end of the day, I just don't want to babble on about this. Right, tell me what you think. Tell me how you where you put your first aid kit, and is your first aid kit quick, easy to grab, or is it an awkward place to grab? Okay, guys. So please like, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. And then the next one, I will be talking about hygiene. Okay, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye, 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 bye.